Orcad X Presto contains technology which enhances design productivity, including the search panel. The search panel provides an easy-to-use interface to search, filter, edit, and locate any object in the design. This quick how-to will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to use a search panel in Orcad X Presto to place components, locate specific objects, edit design parameters in bulk, complete unrouted connections, and fix design role errors. First, let's use a search panel to place components. Right-click the Move icon on the toolbar and select Place. In the Place Component pop-up, ensure Cluster is set as a placement type and Horizontal with a width of 5 is selected as the direction. Select Expand. The search panel opens at the bottom of the Orcad X Presto canvas displaying the components in the design. Select the Filter icon for the state to activate the filtering options. Select the Filter icon again to filter based on predefined states. From the State drop-down menu, check Unplaced. Click anywhere in the filtering pop-up and click OK. Only the unplaced components are now displayed in the search panel. Click and drag to highlight all the components listed. Move your cursor into the PCB canvas. The components are arranged in a horizontal line. To change direction, select Vertical in the Placement window. Click to place the components in the PCB canvas, then select the arrow icon on the toolbar. Next, let's use the search panel to locate design objects. Select the tab for the search panel at the bottom of the Orcad X Presto canvas and select the Reset Filter button to clear the previous search. In the search bar, type USB and press Enter to search. View the results. A mechanical model of a USB device and the USB placed on the PCB have been identified and reported. Verify that the X and Y location of the PCB component is configured as 20 and 40 respectively. Select the lock icon to lock the component in place to prevent accidental moving. Delete the USB search and click Enter to clear the search. Next, let's use the search panel to bulk edit design parameters, minimizing mouse clicks and saving time. Select the Traces, Wires tab in the search panel. This will display all traces in the PCB design. Select the Filter icon for the net category. Ensure the wildcard search is selected and type 3.3 volts into the search field. Select OK. The nets have been filtered to show only the 3.3 volt nets. Click and drag the values of the width column. Right click and select Edit. Since these are power nets, let's increase the trace width. Type 0.381 as the value and press Enter on the keyboard. All the trace width values have been changed for the 3.3 volt nets in the search panel and within the design. Select the Reset Filter button within the search panel. Next, let's use the search panel to complete a design. In the Properties panel in the Orcad X Presto canvas, view the design status containing the unplaced components, unrouted nets, and unrouted connections. Select Unrouted Connections. The search panel is populated with all the unrouted connections in the design. Double-click the first entry, pin C4.1, to be brought to the location on the PCB. Adjust the PCB canvas using the minus key on the keyboard to zoom out and the arrow keys to pan the view. The capacitors that were placed earlier in this how-to have not been routed. Right-click on the Add Connect icon on the toolbar and select Fan Out. In the Fanout pop-up window, select Linear and Out as the Fanout configuration. Select a blank area of the PCB canvas to deselect the C4.1 pin. Click to select each of the unrouted capacitors, C4, C5, C6, C7, and C8. Then select the arrow icon from the toolbar. Click a blank area of the PCB canvas. View the design status in the Properties panel. There is still an unrouted connection. Click the hyperlink from the unrouted connection to expand the search panel and display the result. The two pins which need to be connected are displayed. Double-click one of the pins to be brought to the location on the PCB canvas. Right-click the fan-out icon on the toolbar and select Add Connect. Click to select pin U1.7, then click to select pin U1.6 to complete the connection. Select the arrow icon on the toolbar, then select a blank area in the PCB canvas. Finally, let's use the search panel to correct errors. View the Properties panel in the PCB Canvas to view the Design Rule Check errors. The DRC is out of date. 
Select the refresh symbol for out of date shapes. There is one DRC error listed and one DRC error that has been waived already. Select the pie chart or the hyperlink DRC error to view the error. Double click the entry listed in the search panel to be brought to the location on the PCB canvas. The DRC error is flagged with a DRC marker. This DRC error is reporting insufficient spacing between the ground trace and the 3.3 volt trace due to the pin pitch of the IC. For this example, we will decrease the trace width of the ground net. Click to select the trace for the ground net. In the Properties panel, adjust the trace width to 0 0.280 and click Enter on the keyboard. Click a blank area in the PCB canvas. The DRC error is resolved. Use the search panel to efficiently complete various tasks throughout your PCB design process with a powerful global search and filtering functionality in ORCID X Presto. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.